Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Rogue State Revolution in Besenji. Thank you again to the developers for sponsoring today's video. You can find a link in the description down below. All right, so last video we played just a few turns in and we were able to set up some of our basic economy and our needs for production chains. Namely, we have some more food coming in and we're gonna start producing some processed food. Also exporting it to our neighbor of Chikenistan. Thank you, Emperor Rusty the First for some cash. Really much appreciated. <laughs> All right, so we are out of moves, so let's go ahead and move on to our next turn. Note, by the way, that we are starting to run out of power. Uh, we actually do have rolling brownouts. We need 103 power. We only have 99, so I am going to need to get myself uh, some new power plants set up pretty soon, unfortunately. The surveyor just said he has no idea how to use that thing. Well, how do you know you found oil? I am suspicion. Eh, it's okay. Anyway, uh, so if you want to get some more power, that would be nice. One way, of course, to do that would be to place down another one of these power plants. Does reduce the environments wherever it has been placed, but can give me quite a bit more power, which is nice. A nuclear reactor would be a fun thing if we had a supply of uranium, but at the moment, we do not. If we wanted to spend the time with our advisor researching some new techs, we could get a hydro dam, a wind farm, or a uh, solar array, all of which would be nice, but I, I don't have that quite at the moment. Notice, by the way, there are some funny texts like a launch pad for, you know, uh, supposedly uh, space travel, though I suspect ballistic missiles could play a role as well. Also, time machines and lasers and stuff. Yeah, it's all, all pretty crazy things. Anyway, uh, so I think we're okay without power at the moment, but it is eventually going to become a bit of a problem. In the meantime, let's try to just boost up some more of these stats. For example, before this gets out of control, let's go ahead and place down Let's say another public garden. We'll go ahead and place one of these over... Has to be by grasslands. Here we go. We'll place one of these over here by the city. Just to increase this provincial environmental value a little bit. Um, I could place down another hospital to increase health in the, uh, what is it, Saba region. Or we could go to our hospital and what I can do is spend some money and a favor from one of our ministers. We actually do have a favor, two favors, with our minister of development in order to boost this up to level two. Um, which is nice, however, it's a bit expensive. Is it better than going for another hospital? I don't think so. It is in the sense that it, uh, it saves us a few workers and some power. So that is certainly a thing. But favors can be translated into 80 bucks if we want to just go ahead and cash those in. So really, costing me a favor and 50 uh, Bajenji bucks? Bajenji bucks? Well, what we're really doing is costing ourselves like 100 and, uh, 130 uh, bucks, which I'm not really a big fan of that. So that's a pretty expensive upgrade for me. Maybe we just go ahead and place down another hospital and just accept that, yeah, we're going to be consuming some more power. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we don't worry about that at all right now. I don't know. We'll come back to that in a moment. Is there anything else I really want? Well, first, let's take a look down here at our military base. We did build this at the very end of the last video. There are several different military units we can have, including simple, cheap infantry, which are just basic units. We also have mortars, which are very bad at defense, but can attack infantry at a range pretty effectively. Armor, which is very good at eliminating infantry and mortars and uh, anti-SAM trucks, trucks whenever we find them, but are extremely vulnerable to airborne units, namely helicopters. Helicopters are fast, and they are very vulnerable to anti-air, but they are amazing at taking down the tanks. We're going to go ahead and hire one of these, because they're not as limited by roads and by terrain. And what I'm going to do with these military units is I'm just going to go ahead and start patrolling in a few different areas, trying to reveal more of the map as we go. Because in the darkness, you never know, there might in fact be some terrorists, some revolutionaries, radicals, people who want to destabilize the state that are uh, uh, creating a camp and training up some more of their insurgents. So trying to track them down is going to be key for my internal security. In fact, one thing we could do to help with that would be to place down an intelligence agency. Now this increases public safety by quite a bit, which is nice. And public safety actually is fairly difficult to increase. So I do think I like the idea of having more of these. We'll place it down here in Karif, where we actually need the most of our public safety. So let's go ahead and do this. And at the intelligence agency, we will be able to train an intelligence agent. Now, unfortunately, it looks like I don't have enough intelligence power at the moment. This is sort of going up over time. You can increase your intelligence power in a few different ways. Um, I think, like, if we go to, what is it, foreign affairs or something? 
Uh, maybe not. There, there are ways to improve it. There are policies. I don't remember exactly what they are. I know internet censorship can do some of that. Yeah, there we go. Internet censorship is getting me one intel per turn. Once I have 20, we'll be able to buy an intelligence officer. Or if we want to uh, spend some of our intelligence, we could exploit uh, some VIP in the nation. There's a 50% chance that we get some cash out of that arrangement. So that is a thing we could do, but I'm not going to worry about it right, right now. Um, okay, so our need for food is continuing to increase. We are producing 164 food right now, which means we can only expect to produce about 40 processed food per turn. And considering I'm exporting that much right now, that's okay. Now, something we could do if we really want to start getting aggressive with our cash is if we don't have oil and we don't have aluminum or gold, no problem. Just import it from our neighbors. Now, that means we are not producing it and selling it to our own smeltery, so we're not getting some of the money from that supply chain, but we can spend the workers with the machine uh, man manufacturing plants and the smelters and turning them into, let's say, consumer electronics or household appliances or luxury goods, and that's a way of selling stuff off to our neighbors for a lot of money. Basically, we import the raw goods, process it at home, and then sell it back to them for a lot of cash. Those are things that we could do, and it might be worth trying to do that, actually. Should we? Um, let's see. I think first, before I do that, I'd like to just go ahead and invest a little bit more into this hotel business. Let's go for, let's say, um, let's go for another public garden, and this is going to increase the environment and the entertainment value a little bit. Place one over here, for example, close-ish to the hotel. I don't know if that'll be enough to increase its rating. It actually is. Now we're up to a three star, which means I'm getting 13 bucks out of this one building over here. So that's at least pretty nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we're out of moves, so let's go ahead and move on. Fun thing about this game, by the way, uh, you cannot save. Um, it is, as I said, a bit of a roguelike in that way. So if you make mistakes, well, you're stuck with them. So don't make mistakes if you can. Excellency, I recently learned that a single construction giant, Vulcan Amal, owns almost a quarter of all residential buildings. They could potentially leverage that consolidation to raise property prices in our cities or start making demands. Don't see a problem with this. Liberals don't like it. Ask them to contribute to my election campaign, which reduces rule of law and upsets the liberals, or nationalize their company. Now I own the buildings. Sure, we're going to go ahead and nationalize. We are the nationalist party, after all by default in this game. So that increases prosperity for everybody. Hooray. Ooh, no power over at the uh, at the hotel. That is what we call unfortunate. Okay. Glorious leader acquires Vulcan Amal. Ha, ah, yes, I have acquired you. This is the thing that I have done. Uh, how much oil am I producing? Let's see, 197. About 100 of that is gonna go off to the plastics factories. So wait, is the problem that we are just not having enough oil at our power plant? Uh, no, we are not. We actually do not have enough uh, oil at our power plant to keep all of our power going. What I can do, I think, then, is actually say this particular refinery, instead of splitting between the plastics and the power, let's go ahead and prioritize that instead. And doing so um, should mean that all the oil is going to be sent over here. Uh, do I have to split both? Mm, that doesn't say that I need to split both. I'm thinking just one or the other should be enough. You're producing 99... If this is getting devoted entirely to the power plants and this is uh, about half and half, that should be more than enough oil and the excess will go over to our plastics manufacturing. So I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and continue moving the surveyor over here. Uh, we're gonna let our helicopters continue doing their thing. We have 20 intelligence, so now something I'm gonna do is train up an intelligence officer and there she is. And clicking on her actually does give me an indication as to where there might be a camp of insurgents. So we're going to send her off this direction. She's got pretty good vision, so it's worth sending her if we can. But yeah, she thinks that there's something over here. So I'm going to turn the helicopters around and get ready to go and fight and see if we can catch them. Okay, a couple more points to go. Um, let's see, I still feel like I need more money. Uh, what else do our neighbors want? Let's see. Luxury goods, household goods. If we had a lot of oil, we actually could just export raw oil to both Ch uh, Chiketistan and to Kalshara. For some reason, Chiketistan actually is very angry with me. We don't know why, because there are several different issues that the AI cares about, but right now those are hidden to us. We do not know. So somehow we've done something to make them very angry. I don't know what, but we have. Oh, and there's the power actually has been reset. So now we don't have any uh, blackouts. We are going to be A-OK. -okay. Never mind. What else do we want to work on? Let's see. Um, well, if we have enough power, I feel comfortable with that. What we can do is try to start smelting and maybe manufacture some more goods that we can export. What did people want? Luxury goods? What does that take? Gold mine to smelter to manufacturing plant. That seems... 
Like, it should be easy enough. Is anyone exporting any gold? Yes, both Jakenistan and Kalshara are. If I want to try continuing to build up relations with Jakenistan, maybe we uh, import some gold from them, smelt it into gold bars, and then send it back to, let's say, Kalshara in the form of luxury goods. That could work. Let's try it. Let's just see if it works. I'm going to go ahead and place down one of these smelters. We're going to place it close-ish to Chikenistan, I think, since that's where stuff is going to be coming in. We'll place it right down here. There we go. Cost me a few more bucks. We're running out of money pretty quick, aren't we? What should I be producing? Gold bars, of course. And then we're going to go to diplomacy with Chikenistan. We're going to give them a call. Yes, Mr. Chicken, I understand. You're having some serious issues. Let's negotiate trade. To Basenji, I would like to get your gold ore. We can only import 20 because we don't have the best of relations with them, but that's okay. 20 for now. We'll have to do. Okay, this does not cost me anything as far as my treasury, because uh, I'm not the one buying it. The factories are going to be the ones officially buying it. And then, weirdly enough, I get to nationalize the profits of selling the luxury goods. Go figure. But anyway, so we do have the smelter set up. Now we want to set up a manufacturing plant once again. So let's build another one of these. This is going to reduce the environmental value a bit, which I hate to do, but I think is worth it. Um, we'll place it right over here, I guess. I mean, this is one of the reasons we have the National Reserves, right? I'm sure the animals won't mind. Let's start producing some luxury goods. Okay, so we're going to import some gold. We're going to turn it into luxury goods. And then what? Well, our people don't need it. We can't sell it domestically, so we have to sell it internationally. Let's go to Kalshara, since they do desire it. Greetings! Yes, hello, how are you? Uh, I think you usually are more liberal. We can actually learn a bit about your history here, but you are... You are a mercantile, well-educated, probably secular nation. So if you want to have good relations with you, we should keep in mind that we'll probably have to do things like that. Anyway, to Kalshara, luxury goods. Now, how many do I think I'm going to be producing? Not this many. I think I'll only be able to produce about 20. It says monthly estimated income is zero. You know, we'll cancel this for now, and I'll come back to it. Let's not spend the point until I actually have some idea what we're going to be producing. But we should get a road set up down over here. Actually, I'm out of points. I can't do this anyway. Oh, right. I think because I wasted a call with them. Never mind. Let's just go ahead and move on. It's fine. Who's worried about it? Who's worried? All right. What do we find now? A popular social media website based in Basenji has experienced a major data breach. Millions of private and sensitive details about our citizens' lives have gone public. Have the company find, increase our rule of law, mine the leaked details for threats, gaining intelligence. That's a, quite a bit, actually. Or force the company to exclusively run favorable election campaign ads, increasing approval with all demographics. Fun, but I'm going to increase my rule of law for international standing a little bit. Okay, so she wants to talk. She wants me to build closer ties to the Russian Federation. Uh, this is kind of like a mission. I could agree or disagree. I don't think I'm going to do this. I mean, I could. I don't know. Do we want to try to align ourselves with Russia? I guess we could do that. What are the odds that we need to keep maintaining relations here with Kalshara? I guess we could do this. If we think we're going to do it over the next eight months... Sure, we're going to agree to this mission. Thank you, we do appreciate it. That's going to increase relations because we said we would do it, and if we fill that, well, I think they'll be even happier. All right, intelligence officer. It looks like we are honing in on our potential insurgents. Let's get over here with our helicopter, see if we spot anything. There they are. All right, we found a BLF encampment, the Basenji Liberation Front. We need to go and destroy this. Boom! And it has been destroyed, which means now we don't have any insurgents to worry about over here. So that was nice. Good. We prevented that from happening. If we leave that camp alone, it will eventually train up, train up some insurgents who will roam the map as kind of just rogue units. And if they get to my buildings, they will just sack them, which means my industry falls apart and everything is horrible. Uh, I don't suppose you have intelligence on anything new. Just clicking on the intelligence officer, looking for a ping, not seeing it. Okay, so we're just going to move you to, let's say, over here, somewhere central. And let's just have the helicopter keep going off this direction for now, or something. I don't know. Should be okay. So, as far as our international community and stuff, we can see here that our current stances are pretty bad. We have very low diplomatic influence and rule of law. We're pretty good as far as international security, but very bad on climate change as well. So we're not looking great. We're, like, unbelievably corrupt and people don't trust me worth anything. Eventually, what we can do is try to make a specific major power like us by building up embassies and kind of aligning with their interests and become an ally with them. And they can protect me in some wars, but I also could end up becoming a proxy state in a war against, let's say, Russia and China if I aligned with the United States and so on. Bad things could happen out of all of that. So we want to try to make people like us, but there's something to be said about staying non-aligned if we can do so. 
All right, so in Kalshara, yeah, they do have that mission for us. They are all stable, though. Each of our neighbors can become an unstable nation, and if that happens, don't be surprised if you have a flood of refugees who want to move into your country. That can happen. All right, so over here, we are taking 20 uh, gold bars and turning into 10 luxuries per turn. So not a lot. I'm going to go to Kalshara over here, and we're going to see if we can indeed sell some of that but only 10, not a lot. That could get me five. That's not a lot of money, but I'll go ahead and do this. So it's costing me nothing right now to import all the gold, then refine it, and I'm getting another five per month simply trading this off. Not a ton of money for my budget for international exports, but it is something. What is going on with my... Okay, we apparently don't have anywhere enough food because we're not actually sending all of the processed goods that we promised. So we need to build some more agricultural fields ASAP. Uh, I will build some... Where? Maybe some up over here for improved rural opinion? Sure, let's go ahead and build something over here. Try to make some of them like me a little bit, can produce some more food. Let's see, we're only producing 163, we need 148, which means I've only got 15 available right now. That's why we have so little. Yeah, well, one more farm should be enough to get me up to at least 65 processed food per uh, turn that we can send off. But yeah, we got to keep building that up if we want to go anywhere with that. All right, cool. Uh, what else do we want to construct? Anything? Well, let's see. We said we were going to do things with the Russians, right? So let's uh, go ahead and build a Russian embassy, and I'll place it right over here. Why not? That'll work. So we're going to try to improve some relation with the Russians. And it actually has succeeded. We have improved relations by a couple of states, I think. So we are now a like-minded nation. Interesting. Uh, well, okay. I think that's because they like that I have lots of security. I want to increase things like rule of law, though. There are ways to do that. Namely, we want to go to some of the policies for our different um, agencies. So, for example, travel bans. Yeah, it increases our international security and stuff, but it upsets our legal immigrants. Could improve our uh, borders by a lot, but then security goes down by quite a bit. Mm, not liking that. What about um, Kafari rights? Rule of law hurts a lot because there are no rights for our ethnic minorities. We could have limited uh, rights. That'll make our minorities happy, but upset our regular uh, run-of-the-mill people. Or Basenjis. I'm still going to do it, though, because getting rid of that should improve my rule of law over time. And that does take up all of my turns, so we have nothing else to do. But we should end up seeing over time that our rule of law is going to be going up a little bit because we are being more fair. Could also pass laws that are going to, let's say, reform uh, our policing and so on. That would all be good. Let's see. Keep current policy. Okay, so under the former monarchy, we had a maternity leave which were limited to 12 weeks with 0% of wages paid. With the new constitution and a new democracy, Basenji citizens are now requesting both the government and employers work together to produce a more progressive policy aligned with the rest of the world. So the more we are prepared to invest for the next year, the more total approval we can get across the country. 26 weeks at 100% salary is going to be very, very ambitious, but it gets me 6% extra approval, so I'll go ahead and do it. Alternatively, if we were to keep the current policy, which apparently the United States, I guess our maternity leave is 12 weeks, zero wages paid. By default, I know most companies actually do offer something. That's just me uh, legally required. Uh, if we did that, though, we would actually increase prosperity everywhere, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and try to increase total approval, because getting reelected ultimately is still kind of the goal of the game. All right, cool. Hello, Excellency. Just want to let you know that we're very pleased. Relationship has improved. Hooray! Greetings. The Russian Federation is a formidable ally. Oh, so they like that we're becoming allies, too? Well, I'm already doing that. Can I? Do I think I can improve relations with them further? Maybe. Let's try it. I don't know. It sounds like we're aligning with Russia. Two of my neighbors like them. Uh-oh, what's going on over here? We have protests being reported in our capital city. Let's see. Unhappy about tax policies. Yeah, admittedly, we have a very regressive system. Probably should change that. Tax policies. They don't like our minister. One of our ministers, anyway. Change cultural policy. More unites us than divides us. They like this. Situation is unsustainable. They mostly just hate our tax policies. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, at this point, our uh, prosperity has increased enough that I don't think that sticking with um, our regressive tax system makes a lot of sense. Time to switch over to a proportional tax system, and I think that will solve some of the protests that are going on over here. But this can escalate pretty quickly into something nasty if you don't deal with it. So we will want to make sure that gets taken care of. Surveyor, can you find anything new? No deposits. Unfortunate. All right, what else we got? Well, there's another deposit way down over here we can go to. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. 
Uh, there are more units we can recruit from our palace. The facilities inspector is a way to uh, remove corruption from some of our state-run facilities, and the palace guard mostly helps protect the palace if we need it. It's just a very good infantry unit, basically. If we take a look at corruption, though, you can see at this oil refinery, for example, we do have 4% corruption here. So if we were to hire, let's say, a facilities inspector and spend some turns, we could reduce that. And that actually would increase how much it is able to produce. So that could end up being important. 3% down there, 0% here, 0% here, yeah. I mean, eventually we're going to have one of them just kind of making the rounds. Do we just go ahead and hire one now for the sake of it? Yeah, let's just go ahead and hire one. We'll have a facilities inspector, and we'll travel over, let's say, to the uh, plastics factory, since they have 3%. We'll just go ahead and reduce that, and so on. All seems okay. So we are now exporting our desired 40 off to our neighbors, so we're still making money again out of revenue there. Uh, let's see. Um, so what else could we do to improve relations with Russia? Great question. Um... Incomplete requirements. Yeah, they want us to have more climate change, and they want me to accumulate a lot of intel. Also, build a seaport to improve relations. Now, I haven't really bothered much with these guys in my test games, so I have no idea how important this is, but okay. Uh, let's continue moving the intelligence officer around, I guess, and let you just keep doing your thing. I am a little bit worried about the environment, but so far I don't think people are too upset about it. I think we're okay. So, what else should we do? Well... Could build some more embassies to try and improve relations a little bit. A faith assembly is a thing we could do. I actually haven't played with one of these either. Religious edicts are set here. This sounds pretty important. Religious approval goes up too. You know what? Why not? Let's try to place one of these down. And you know what? I'm going to place it up by the capital as well because I think that having a religious site controlling our religion next to our government sends a very important message. Okay, so we can have clerics who travel across the nation seeking religious experiences that unlock powerful edicts. These edicts are then set in this building and affect the entire nation. Oh, I actually have never played with this before. Okay, I'm very curious what that's going to end up doing for us. Very nice. Um, let's see, if we're producing a little bit of an excess in our goods here, should we try to sell any more consumer goods? We could sell some more off to Kalshara. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe? I do think what we want to do is actually import more gold, because our smelter has a lot more capacity than this. So, we need more gold. Um, Kalshara has gold. Let's go ahead and give him a call. Let's give him a call. Let's negotiate some trade. I'm going to go ahead and import some more gold. Until I can find my own, this is just as good as it's going to get. And yeah, we can afford to import a full 40. Oh, wait. I don't have enough points. Hang on. Next turn. We'll come back to that. Come back to that in a minute. Yeah, we can handle a lot more gold and then just turn it into more luxuries for more money. It's worth it. Uh, we can spend a little bit of money in order to have financial vouchers for women to pay for childcare. Makes liberals like me. Doesn't cost me too much. I'll accept it. We're making a pretty hefty amount of money as things stand right now. And I got lots of favors I could cash in if I want to. So yeah, let's go to diplomacy here to Kalshara. Try to build up our trade relations, integrate our economies a bit more. I'll import 40, and now we are at good, polite standings. Then I'm going to go to negotiate trade. And on this, can I increase how much we would send to you? Not at the moment. Let's cancel that. We'll come back to that later. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I do see that our ministers actually have something to talk about. So we did just finish learning about tax credits. That's now done. Okay. Uh, we could improve health quite a bit if I go for workers' compensation. I think that's going to be worth it since right now health is pretty bad in a lot of places. Over here, ecological impact surveys are done. So now we'll spend some money to improve our environment. I would like to learn about some more... Uh, power. Now, let's see. Is there a river that I could use a hydroelectric dam on that wouldn't affect our economy too much? If I were to place, let's say, our dam over here, I don't know if it would actually shrivel up all of the grasslands. It might. Depending on where we do this, though, I bet you we could get some power if we researched hydro. A fair bit. Alternatively, solar panel is, of course, always an option. Or wind power. I don't know. All of them are alright. Rural communities don't like this. Solar panel, I think, is acceptable. Um, hydropower, I think, will end up being the winner, though. So we're going to go for hydropower. Let's go ahead and learn about some of that. And then for defense, we got recon training, which increases the sight of all my units, so it's a little bit faster to find some of those uh, revolutionaries. Now, again, this is where some of the tongue-in-cheek and stuff can come into place. No we have things like temporal displacement. We also have Deus Ex Machina here, where we actually build bipedal tanks, like battle mechs. Like, actually from the Battletech universe. Kind of hilarious. 
Not sure I need this. It's a bit expensive, but it's kind of funny, ain't it? Uh, let's see. What else we got going on here? Well, we can learn about, um, let's say, make our infantry do more damage against enemy armor. Psychological warfare, force conscription. We could just have conscription laws in general. Uh, let's see. Anything else here really, really important? Cyber division could be useful. I think we'll just go ahead and learn about some basic conscription law. Let's try working on that. And let's pay attention to you. You're still working on a diplomatic school. This is the guy who can just change up what he does randomly. So we have to check back on him once in a while. But a diplomatic school would be helpful to improve my international diplomacy. Because right now, it's looking pretty bad. Okay, uh, let's go to justice here. Right now, we have fast justice. Which is increasing safety quickly. But we're more likely to get corruption. And also, it makes me look really bad internationally. We're going to swap over to a rule of law system, which does cost me money, but I'm gonna look a lot nicer for it. We'll also go to bureaucratic policing, probably, which again, reduces public safety a bit, which is concerning, but again, improves my rule of law quite a bit. For foreign affairs, do we want to prioritize something other than international security? Maybe. Uh, we could prioritize, let's say, climate, because Russia cares about it a lot. Sure, let's prioritize this instead. That spends all my points, but we're changing up a lot of our diplomatic international policies. Okay, sounds good. We have a unit that hasn't moved yet. Yes. Um, intelligence agent has found something new. Okay, so let's go ahead and start walking in this direction. But we did have an airborne unit nearby with a little bit of extra vision. So once this guy is done moving, can we go look around and find something new? Not seeing them. We can move one more space. Let's try going here. No, no idea where the camp is. We got to narrow that down a little bit. Could be anywhere out over here. This is where having the faster airborne units is nice. By the way, for your military units, you do have HP on these guys, and they do take damage, of course, when they are being attacked. And depending on what they're being attacked by, you might find that they take more damage than in other methods. They also have a loyalty mechanic. And uh, basically, if you send your units off to go and suicide, then your units say, why are we following this guy? And they lose loyalty and bad things happen. So do be aware of that. I'm very worried about the health that's going on in Saba right now. We're going to have to fix some of that soon. Yes, yes, go ahead and continue doing your thing. Excellency, I should remind you that next month marks the fifth anniversary of the revolution. You will, of course, be expected to make a public statement. Are there other events you'd like to have planned? Well, if we had a stadium, we could have done a few other nice things, uh, like getting some environmental quality, and that would have been really nice. But I don't have that, so instead we're going to go for a military parade celebrating our victory, which will make the conservatives happy and improve the entertainment of the uh, entire region. Not that entertainment is absolutely crucial, but it's okay. You want me to raise the approval of the citizens in Saba. Okay. This is where things can get a bit tricky because it's hard for me to tell exactly what everyone wants over here. Let's take a look at demographics and see provincial statistics. So in Sta Saba, we mostly have a surprising number of ethnic minorities, Karifis. In fact, wait a minute. These guys aren't even ethnic minorities. They're the majority. What? Okay. Or is this just approval? 20 people versus... Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. This is approval rating, not numbers. Ha, ha, ha. No, okay. So the Karifis like me a lot. Got it. So in Saba, uh, if we can improve Basenji approval, that'd be good. There's eight immigrants. 81 people would be considered religious. Fair number of urban, but lots more rural. And lots of conservatives. So if we can find ways to make uh, people in Saba happy with conservatives, with urban, with religion, we could improve the general opinion here quite a bit. We also undoubtedly need to get that health back up, too. That will be important. Um, let's see. The only thing that I know of that does improve um, a conservative opinion would be to get things like a military base. We actually can. Actually, if we take a look over here. There is a uh, help menu, which actually can be helpful to learn a bit more about what specific groups will benefit from certain things. So, for example, appealing to the conservatives and liberals. Uh, conservatives... Like privatized healthcare and nationalized education, they like travel bans and nationalistic policies, regressive tax, uh, occupation army, prioritize security, exploitation, construct a military base, etc. Okay. Um, and we have propaganda facilities, of course, too. Yeah, basically they just want lots of things that kind of tear apart the nation, if I'm being honest. I think it'd be better for us to try to go for another holy place over here. A sacred area for our religious population. Uh, but there has to have been a religious experience nearby. Darn it, we don't have any of those. Well, maybe we can go over here then to the faith assembly, get a cleric, right? And what's the this? Actually, I have no idea what these are. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's go find out what this stuff is. Is this how you find religious uh, experiences? There's, there's giant glowies in the sky? 
I don't know, but we're gonna find out. If I can go get that, that'd be amazing. Um, but really, we'll wanna get some sort of religion down here. It's gonna be hard to make these guys like me, shy of building a lot of propaganda, honestly. That's one of the better things that we can do. Um, we could also just meet some of their needs. So they need more health. Unfortunately, I think that means we need to get ourselves another hospital. So I'll place another one over here. Just try to get that up there, get their approval rating up. Um, I would assume, I would assume, maybe incorrectly, that meeting needs improves, um, improves the, uh, the approval rating, but could be wrong on that. Uh, let's see, what else we got going on here? Museum, education, access, blah, 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 more smelters. We could get a seaport. We do need one of these. This is important if we're going to make Russia like me, so let's go ahead and place one over, let's say... I could place it over here, I guess. And then just build a road. Sure, let's do that. And then using my last point, I'm going to go ahead and build a road over here. And tie these together. Okay. So now that we have a seaport, that's something. If we take a look at our... What's this? Some towns are demanding processed food. Ah, okay. So the needs are starting to go up. That's good. We'll sell some of our processed goods here at home instead of elsewhere. Uh, let's see. So the Russian embassy, we have that. Now we just need to get climate change rating much higher, and we need to have some intel, of which I'm not really producing a lot, unfortunately. Um, still need you to get a bit closer. Mm, you're kind of slow, unfortunately. But we'll just go ahead and move you. I just need to narrow this down somehow. I think the intelligence officer getting closer would fix this, but maybe not. Let's uh, go ahead and move the helicopters in this pattern. We're going to take a risk and hope that we find it out over here doesn't look like it so maybe it's out off this direction gonna take a few turns in order to find this and in the meantime there's always a risk of some uh, nastiness happening but we'll see let's go to um our minister of developments i'm gonna go ahead and meet with the lobbyist using one of my favorite points and just get some extra cash because right now i feel like we're running a little bit lower than i would like uh land attractiveness is still okay over here if we get some more um a, entertainment i think in this city that'd be pretty good right now we're at six we could probably improve this a fair bit uh, actually, let's also go to our budget. Let's see if there's anything else I want to change. Let's see. Um, we could spend a fair bit of money improving some stats. For example, spend a bit... Well, I actually don't have any points. Never mind. I can't do anything. Never mind. We'll move on to the next turn. I keep wanting to do more than I actually can. Ah, well, that's going to be fine. So our surveyor is on its way to the next thing. Uh, we have somebody who did something illegal. We can go ahead and improve uh, opinion and get some more rule of law. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Arrest the individuals. And I think we're going to have to end this video here. Oh, you want to raise opinion of all everybody in Rumai. Gosh darn it. All right. So everyone wants opinion. This is where it gets really hard to actually make these guys happy. Because I don't know necessarily the best way to improve um, opinions consistently. I just don't know how that works, but we'll come back to that in the next video. For now, though, I think we're going to go ahead and end things here. Thank you all very much for watching, and again, thank you to the developers for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to learn more, you can find a link in the description down below. If you did enjoy, I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time in Basenji.